Hello friends, welcome to Hitu's vlog. This video I am going to explain in English because lot of non-Malayali friends were also watching this video. So today we are going for a trip and the journey is starting from Kerala to Maharashtra. Actually I went there to attend an international conference conducted by Sri Ramnath Tirtha Marathwada University in short SRTMU Nanded. There I got a wonderful opportunity to visit one of the well preserved meteorite impact crater on the earth that is the lonar lake which is situated in buldana district of maharashtra i'll tell you in details about the speciality of this lake the trip is with 32 energetic friends from different states and we started our journey from srtmu by bus at 6 am and it took uh, almost 5 530 hours to reach lonar lake study says that The lake is created by meteoroid impact which means the space rock that fall to the earth's surface. On the way the road is really deserted. We couldn't find any houses or shops. But different types of cultivations we can see on both sides of the road. Those who wish to travel to this place must keep enough water and eatables because it's hard to get those things in this route. This is the only good hotel we found on the way for breakfast. We should not expect much varieties of food here, but the poha and pakoda was really tasty. Now we are traveling through Deccan Traps, one of the largest volcanic features on the earth, which means after the volcanic eruption, lava came out and gets solidified. Thus we can see many basaltic rocks all around. We reached Lonar at 11:30 a.m. It was around 5:30 hours journey. So from the gate, we have to walk through the forest to reach the lake. This crater lake created in basaltic rock by the impact of meteorite is considered as national heritage site. We all are very much excited and ready for the walk. Now we are entering into the compound of a temple named Gomuk. This is the main route to the bottom of the Lonar Lake. From this temple we can see a broad view of the lake. Some visitors are coming up to this point only because have to walk through the forested slope of the crater to reach the bank of the lake. One specialty of this place is this underground freshwater spring where water flows 24 into 7 in 365 days and the flow has never stopped in summer the intensity may decreases but the flow is eternal there are many temples within the lonar crater many of the temples are built in hemat pande architecture style which is formed during 13th century in maharashtra this style mainly based on block stones and lime The temple we were standing is at the rim of the crater. Now started walking through the slope. The stairs are very steep and narrow, so we had to be a bit careful because there is a chance of falling down. And in some parts, water from the spring is also there.
many temple remainings we can see on the way these are built centuries ago but still some of the architectures are retained majority of my friends in this trip are geologists so they are very much fascinated while seeing the rocks around and taking photographs of them we need to carry enough drinking water or eatables because nothing won't get until we reach the gate but i enjoyed the walking through this forest area Even though it's a noon time we didn't feel much hot because of this greenery You may be thinking that majority of this video is walking through forest only but actually it is there to walk and we took almost 1 hour to reach the lake At last we reach at the Lonar Lake. Now let me tell you in short about the peculiarities of this lake. One who knows about this thing can only feel why it is scientifically important. As I mentioned before, this is meteorite impact or hypervelocity impact crater. The age is approximately older than 50 to 1000 years. And study says that the meteorite came from the direction of Gomuk Temple. The Lona crater is one of the only two craters that were formed in the basaltic target that is 65 million year old Deccan volcanic provinces in the India. Its shape is like a bowl with 1.8 km diameter and 150 m deep. The water in this lake is not suitable for drinking. It is saline and alkaline. Thus this is a special interest for geologists, chemists, ecologists, microbiologists etc. An interesting thing happened in July 2020. The Lonar Lake turned pink suddenly. An investigation by scientists revealed that the pink color was due to the appearance of salt-loving Haloarchaea microbes in large scale. Lesser rainfall, less human interference and high temperature further contributed to this. We took lot of photos, enjoyed the peacefulness, greenery, and the beauty of Lonar Lake. While going back, it took more than one and a half hours because of climbing the slope. We took rest at in between and then walked. There's no water to drink. Energy is almost decreased. Once we came out from the forest it was too sunny that made us more tired all are taking rest at the gomuk temple one difficulty we have faced is there is no toilets nearby since government is maintaining it as a heritage site and opened it for tourists i would request the authority to make toilet facilities also hope you enjoyed the lona trip with us 
share it with your friends if it is really informative and don't forget to give like those who are first time watching my channel please subscribe and stay tuned to get more videos